Yes, it's another Lindsay Kelk fangirl video. If you haven't seen my Lindsay Kelk playlist, which are filled of fangirl videos, aka book reviews, um, I will leave it linked up above. But for now, we need to talk about On A Night Like This. Welcome back, or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Katrina and I make bookish content here on this channel every week and then movie reviews here at the weekend. In the description box below, you will find all of my social links, including my blog and my Goodreads, where I do already have a written review of On A Night Like This, um, if that's more your thing. Um, but yes, this will be talking about this beautiful book here, which is a signed copy because I went to go and get this signed on Sunday, so I got my hands on it before release date, but I was able to read a copy thanks to NetGalley um, before release date as well. And so I'm going to talk about that here with you. But yes, here is my signed copy. And I will pop in some footage, photos, whatever from where I went signing in case you're interested. There is sparkle on the spine as well. We like some sparkle on the spine. Um, but yes, Lindsay Kelk has done various events in Waterstones here in the UK. So if you are looking to treat yourself or someone you like to a signed copy, um, I believe Waterstones, all the Waterstones that she appeared in have extra signed copies. So they may be available online as well. Have to find out. Um, but yes, this is Lindsay Kelk's first hardback. And so it's very exciting to actually be holding it in my hands and talking about it here. But yeah, there is always something about a Lindsay Kelk novel that just, I have other books in the year that I really enjoy and they're great books. And you know, I have favorite books of the year, but there's something about Lindsay Kelk's writing that just elevates it from great to amazing. I sat down and I read this book on ebook in two big chunks. And if you've been watching my videos for a while recently, I'm really struggling to read anything but audiobooks again right now. And so the fact that I sat down and read this on my phone in two sittings is massive. It really is massive. She just draws me in. She makes me laugh. And just the way that she writes, I think, is just so accessible. It's like pacey and witty. It's full of heart. It's full of humour. But also, she writes really relatable characters and then takes them off to do truly incredible things. And Fran, our main character from On A Night Like This, is no exception. She's totally relatable. She's living in Sheffield. She has travelled all over, but she feels kind of like tied down in Sheffield. She's not really loving her life right now, but she doesn't have enough self-confidence to sort of do anything about that. And I love the fact that she's got this kind of shaky belief in herself, despite everything we're told online to do with self-care and positive affirmations these days. It's still really hard to like find that self-confidence and find that like chutzpah to change your life <laughs> and take a big leap believe me, I know. Um, and so Fran is just so easily easy to relate to. Her best friend Jess, also very easy to relate to. Um, she reminded me of um, my very good friend Jess, because um, I could just imagine <laughs> she and I having very similar conversations in very similar settings, apart from my good friend Jess has the classic Long Island accent. So, you know, that little little bit of difference there with me and my Yorkshire accent. Um, but yes, Jess is an amazing character. Think about that chemistry, if you are a Lindsay Kelk fan, between Angela and Jenny Lopez. We, we, we may have that with Fran and Jess. I like their relationship an awful lot. And that's something else that Lindsay Kelk always does really well, is take a side character and make them memorable. Like how many books do you know where you really love the main character and you really, you know, have connected with them, particularly where you're reading series, you know, you're all about that main character, but can you remember their friend's name? Can you remember that side character? Maybe not, not always. Whereas, you know, I love the side characters in Lindsay Kelk's previous novel. I love Jess in this one. I love Jenny Lopez. Like we've got some really strong side characters that Lindsay Kelk writes. I'm trying to make this like not glaringly shiny. It's just, it's so hard not to look at. And I will say as well that the um, the figure on the cover here does give away some clues to the story. But yes, back to the fact that we take a down-to-earth character, Franz living in Sheffield, and what Lindsay Kelk does is she sort of takes her away and puts her 
in these amazing settings that I could never hope to visit. This is a bit of a Cinderella retelling, a little bit. It definitely has some Disney magic about it. And speaking of Disney, it does make multiple mentions of The Little Mermaid in here, which I am very appreciative of. Big fan of The Little Mermaid. I have a Little Mermaid blanket sitting just just nearby um and uh, yeah i like the disney references in this one always some good pop culture references in a lindsay kelk novel as well she does not shy away from social media and pop culture and that idea of um what life is like online because she spends a lot of time online and that shows in her writing and i am very very grateful for it because i do not like authors that shy away from mentioning social media and technology because it dates their novel like I don't care if it dates the novel. I'd love to read back and find out that, yeah, we're talking about like the Nokia 3310 and what have you. Like that's a time and a place for me. And so I love that we have mention of technology and mention of pop culture and social media in a Lindsay Kelk novel because it brings it to the time and it makes it relatable for people like me who spend a lot of time online and using technology and on social media. Um, but yes, we whisk Fran off to some exotic destinations and that's when the adventure really starts for her. I'm not going to go into more detail than that because no spoilers here on this channel but if you're ready to escape and get some glamour during the British autumn that we're having right now or even if you're purchasing this for someone for Christmas, the British winter that we're having right now um then this is great escapist reading um of course we have a little bit of uh, talk of romance and relationships in here and lindsay kelk keeps it diverse as well which we love um and there's a little bit of kind of will they won't they going on here as well and i adored that and of course lindsay kelk writes that so well um one of the things that really stood out for me as well was that as i was reading this a bit like i feel like i mentioned this in a previous lindsay kelk review i felt like i was watching it play out like a movie in front of me obviously we have had a recent cinderella movie i've reviewed that on the channel i'll leave it above or in the end screen um but yeah i could see it playing out like a movie and i think that the glamorous setting and the kind of like not rags to riches but you know sheffield to exotic yacht um really does help that um and it was just the fact that i could never dream of going to these settings but they're described so vividly that i could picture them so clearly as i was reading because of the way lindsay kelp writes and so um i think that's why it felt like watching a movie in my mind as i was reading the book obviously we all get a visual picture when we read a book but sometimes you can almost see what it would look like on the big screen and hear that like background music coming in see the lighting see the cinematography see the direction taking place and so this book would make the best movie and i would be watching that whether it was a small screen movie or a big screen movie i would definitely be watching that but yeah i highly recommend this book it's so accessible it just like lifted my spirits and whisked me away for those two sittings that i was reading it the writing is just magnetic i loved getting to meet fran and jess and possible love interests um and yeah it was just wonderful i will be requesting the audiobook from my library because um this one is narrated by carrie hope fletcher and so i definitely want to see how this one plays out on audiobook and i'm already excited about rereading this so there's a possibility i may reread this again before the end of the year also cameo of former lindsay kelk character in here not going to tell you who not going to tell you when or why but love that here for it so yes, on a night like this, highly recommend. One of my most anticipated books of the year and I am so pleased that it lived up to the hype. I've been building myself up for this one. But yes, thank you so much for watching this video. As I say, if you haven't um, seen my 
Lindsay Kelk videos previously. I will leave them linked in the end screen for you along with my uh, book review playlist because um, I do enjoy making book reviews, standalone book reviews on this channel. If you prefer a standalone book review or if you prefer a sort of top 10 type of video, let me know your preference in comments. I'm always interested to hear what floats your boat when it comes to actually reviewing books on the channel. Um, I will be back with more bookish content for you next week, so make sure you are subscribed and I will see you with a move review at the weekend, so hit that notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, yes, I will see you with that movie review at the weekend. Thanks for watching. <laughs>